Hi Aries, what's up? This is the final reading I have left. Sorry, you guys, it's kind of late. This is for Aries, Sun, and Rising. <laughs> for January 2019, and first one out, Ace of Pentacles. So a new opportunity is arising that is going to bring you abundance. Ooh. And you have the Queen of Cups saying, like, um, you need to nurture your emotions right now. And, um, because you've been fighting some type of battle, some sort of, it could be internal, it could be with friends and family. It's like, the battle's over, though. So, rest and recuperation is definitely, ooh, needed. <laughs> but, soulmate card, okay? Soulmate card. So... You're going to be either meeting somebody this month or you've already met somebody who ah, is emotionally going to fulfill you. And the fool is saying, take that leap of faith. Trust in the divine. The fool, he's walking off this cliff, right? He's like, he doesn't know where the fuck he's going. He's got a flower in his hand, his knapsack. He's got his little dog. He don't care where the fuck he's going. He's just going. Maybe he's running away from something. Maybe it's running away from his something in his mind. Like, it sorts our ideas, so. But you can see the shoreline is in sight. So, for me, when I was growing up, I would just up and leave and be like, Mom, I'm leaving, and go. And sometimes that's the best thing to do. Sometimes when we have faith, it's the best thing to do. And maybe you're giving too much to some people, and maybe... Um, like with the six of pentacles, it's about balance. So you have to know where to give and where to receive. Are you receiving everything that you deserve or are you giving too much of yourself? Find where you need the balance. Cool. With the hermit and the knight of cups. So the knight of cups, I think of Hermes. Like um, it's going to be an emotional fulfillment or some sort of message about something. So definitely with this, um, with the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups, you, the, the soulmate might bring you a message and maybe the message is like, love me. <laughs> um, maybe it's you connecting with a partner or something, but you also have the hermit. So maybe it's you connecting with parts of yourself. And maybe this person will help you connect with yourself more, or maybe it's you just taking time to meditate to find the things in you to find your little light. The Hermit is um, the Hermit is also Virgo's card. So maybe you will be connecting with a Virgo. I actually, I met, I, I met someone this month, and I'm a Virgo, and there's Aries Moon. So I'm pretty sure I have my Kundalini awakening. So if you guys, if you don't believe that this fucking twin flame soulmate shit is real, I'm here to testify and say, no, by all means, it is real. It is weird as fuck. So, be excited. <laughs> I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited for everyone who's getting their twin flames and their loves and all the, their messages from the divine this month. What else do we have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising. Oh, ah! Oh my gosh, okay, so this victory card fell out right over the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So, this is passions, idea, that's, um, things that, sorry, my nose ring is, like, all weird, it looks like a booger right now. Okay, <laughs> that was gross. This card is here to say, like, listen, this message, this whatever's coming is in alignment with you, with your true soul mission, with your true purpose. Connect with these people. Don't be scared to take opportunities that you normally wouldn't. Don't be scared to go out on a limb and, like, just jump. Take that full energy with you. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. My hair looks crazy, but. Okay, Queen of Pentacles with the Emperor and Ten of Cups. So this is, the emperor is, he's, he's got a little onk on his, he's holding an onk, and I got one tattooed on my face, you can't see it against my makeup, but, <laughs> that's eternal life, that's this, um, the emperor is not a tyrant, he, he is a just leader who's in control of his whole motherfucking castle, his whole life, and he, with the queen of pentacles right now, it's saying like, Nurture yourself. Be your emperor. Be in your queen comfort. Like, we're going to be... What am I trying to say here? Like, emotionally, we're going to be fulfilled. And that's going to bring about 
your vibes will bring about good things that manifest, like money, um, new opportunities, a new job, um, things that will be in alignment with your soul mission. And I think the emperor is here to say, like, this is the things that are going to manifest, but you have to keep in this energy of anything is possible, love is possible, your dreams are possible, you have to be in an energy of, like, love, just love, like, remember that, like, darkness is not fighting the light like the darkness is just waiting for the light to come on oh and what is this oh okay and this fell right over the emperor so the eight of cups so he's got this little cup missing he's done almost everything he wants to in his life he just has this one other cup that he's missing there's something that you need to go get and maybe it is this love Maybe that's the only thing that you're missing from your life that's going to make you fulfilled is like having real love, real unconditional love. And I don't know. So he's he's taking this journey under the moon, right? Which it means, excuse me, which means like your subconscious, your intuition, it's things that are hidden in the dark. And oh, it's fell right in my lap. Ooh, the king of cups. So he's emotions. So, he is perfectly in control of his emotions. He is, um, so he's in control of his emotions, so he doesn't freak out. He doesn't fuck with the drama. He doesn't fuck with dumb shit, with fucking people who are going to bring him down. He's just like, I'm going to chill here. I'm stable. There's all this water going on around him, all this chaos, all this, um, waves, but he's on his own little um, brick of, like, he's on cement. He's not moving. He's uh, unmovable. He won't be affected by other people's shit. And, you know, ooh, and the Empress coming out right over top of the Ten of Cups to say, like, be in your power, be in control of yourself, um, and she also is on cement, but she's in the middle of this harvest or this field. Um, and I think this is Libra. She's Libra energy, so you might be dealing with Libra. Um, yeah, but she is <clears throat> like all things beautiful and divine. Like she's definitely in control of her divine feminine power and knowing when to assert herself and when to back the fuck up. And the King of Swords coming out too. How many kings do you have? Dang, you got... Okay, so a couple kings out here. You have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So this might be you... Um, a partnership for sure. For both of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, with your soulmate card and your Ten of Cups. And this one, King of Swords, is in control of his mind. And... He's not letting his emotions rule him. He's not letting his mind rule him. Um, and it came out with the Seven of Cups. So you have a lot of options here. And maybe you are not sure which one to take. But maybe it's better not to listen to our mind or our heart. Let's listen to our gut. Let's get back in our instincts. Use your gut to feel things before they come. It's like we often forget the power of intuition and the power of those little feelings that irk you. And I also seen a video the other day that says we have a second brain that's in our gut, which means like it's basically another nervous system that says like you can feel when this shit is going about to go down. Ooh, and you have the queen of swords also. So these both could be, I mean the queen of swords and the king of swords, this, this, this is definitely you coming together with a partner. And, I, you know, it came with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, too. So maybe you are merging with another person who's whole, who is in control of their divine feminine and their divine masculine, and they're balanced and they're whole within their self. Because that's what a twin flame relationship is, being whole and the other person being whole, and you guys coming together to join as, like, a partnership, but not one where you merge it and you twist and, like, be in this weird shit together. It's like... A twin blame relationship is more like taking two whole pieces and coming together instead of where a lot of relationships are like taking two half pieces and trying to put them together and make some whole piece of some bullshit that's like 
two whole and complete people coming together to another king, <laughs> king of wands this time, to get their passions, like to go and do whatever their sole mission was here, to tear down this bullshit and these fucking constraints that society has put on us to bring in this new age of Aquarius where we follow our dreams and follow our soul missions and follow our purpose and be who we want to be and do what we want to do and do it from a place of love and compassion and um, be fully in our own power. So let me pull a couple from this deck. Work your light. I love this deck so much. It's so pretty. And I love Rebecca Campbell's books. So if you are... I don't know if guys will really like it. But if you're a girl and you're just going through your spiritual process. I highly recommend like this book. Rise to Rise. And her other book is really dope too. So, But these cards are so beautiful. Well, let's get a message for Aries. January. Ooh. So Leap. You also had the fool, so this is basically the fool in her deck. Um, leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So that's coming out for the second time. Saying go and fully like be in your power. And then Council of Light, divine orchestration, helpers in the septal realms. Don't be afraid to ask your spirit guides for help. Don't be too afraid to meditate. Um, if you're going to get something, you pray. But if you want to ask a question, you will meditate and wait for the answer. So don't be afraid to meditate and take time out for yourself to receive this um, divine light or divine um, understanding. Um, don't forget to take time out for like play in yourself. You know, we will always hustle and work so hard we forget about rest and how important that is and how important it is to just go with these gut instincts and take that leap of faith. I'm going to pull one more. The inner temple, devotion, tune into your the portal of your heart. The portal of your heart. Okay? So listen to your heart always. Always go with love. But don't let love control you when you know other shit is bad. You know what I'm saying? I think we get in a lot of relationships where we just let our heart rule us and we know people are horrible for us. Like know who is right for you and who is a waste of your time. Know who's in alignment with your true path. Okay? Let's pull one more. I'm going to pull from the ripple deck. I like pulling these extra ones. Like, these ones are fun for me. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you are loved. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Well, there you have it. <laughs> have fun finding your soulmates. Have fun finding your twin flames. Have a beautiful month of January. Please comment, subscribe, like. Let me know for sure if you find your twin flame, your soulmate, comment below. I would love to hear your guys' stories. Um, yeah, check out my website, tylerdesantis.com. And yeah, you can book personal readings on there too. Check out my blog, website, etc., etc., whatever. Bye. See you guys in February.